about time I got back into here, starting some of these maintenance projects. It's getting a little rank. I haven't been in this room for a little while. Let's see what's going on. Fans off idle, it's ramped up a bit. Showing five degrees. Start to smell some bees in the shed here. 4.6 on the outside wall here and flashing me six. Whatever the flashing means. Must be a dead battery maybe. Six degrees in the middle of the shed. Let's go see my girls. Getting a little bit of bee drop. This is probably what I'm smelling. The smell of dead bees. Maybe the smell of bees perspirating. A bit of drop on the floor. Here's some canola honey. We had quite the canola flow in the fall. And I'm afraid I tried mixing it off best I could with syrup. We'll see how that works out. Oop. That colony is not looking too great. Can't really see inside there. That's a bad sign. But I'm not seeing too much of that. Well, the fronts are pretty clean so far. And these are quite calm. That's yeah, a bit of, I'm gonna have to do a sweep in here, I think. Freshen the shed up just a little bit. It's getting just a little bit stale. Man, I can't quit these bees from bearding. me a bit nervous but I did jam pack these full of feed that's all I could do man oh man here's my temperature it's flashing it must be a dead battery yeah Do these boxes are looking a little worse for wear. Fairly clean the front though, that's really good. bees in the front entrance yet. There's my continual reminder to update my boxes.
There's a sight for sore eyes. Pretty good for budget boxes. Look at that. These are from Murray and Sons. Murray and Sons. <laughs> These are from Lewis and Sons. Murray, Adam, and Dale Lewis out of Austin, Manitoba. They are my box builder. I got to assemble and dip. Beautiful. So what I plan on doing is cycling these into my honey boxes just to try to attempt my forever upgrade of my honey boxes to improve the condition so I don't have to use those covers as much. I take a couple more years of replacement but then cycle those honey boxes down into the brood chamber to let those boxes live their last days out in brood equipment. Ah, so now I gotta get these off because I'm not done with this in here. So that needs some more work before I can put the easy load on. These have to come out, come off and be put somewhere. I'm gonna have to find a place where push some snow I guess. Look at those boxes. Quality. Like a glove. Now, just have to put some cross members in underneath where these bolts hold down to the frame. Didn't want to do that until I installed it because I wasn't sure I wanted it to be exact. And then, going to clamp around so one clamp this way and then one clamp that way to hold it tight into the corner and she will be solid she's got her skirt back on
Well, that has that secured. Now I just need to put a clamp around the post. Maybe add a gusset or two. But she is solid now. Does not even budge because it's straight onto the metal deck. So I'd say I did a pretty good job, except the farmer and me just keeps coming out. Not very square. I'm out by a quarter inch. My brother would just have a hissy fit. But I don't think my bees are going to mind. Holy, just about done that project. So now what I have to do, like I say, I need to put on those clamps and that'll secure the pole. And then, to work on these cover plates. Got to fasten these plates on a little more efficiently. Oh, I'll probably end up just using these damn things again. But I'm going to try to put on a, a bit of a snap kind of deal. Or I don't know, I'll have to see what's available at the hardware store. Something that locks it on. I do not want to use 10 millimeter wrenches. Be nice to have something just to clamp down onto it. We'll see, I have another motor coming. Looks like I'm not gonna play my farmer's hand. I'm gonna put another electric power pack inside here and I think I have one that fits perfectly but if not then I'll just re-engineer this manifold so that I can relocate either keep the motor in here and attach the hydraulic system to the manifold with loose pipes or maybe machine the manifold to fit so it's you know hardwired still or locate this motor in a contained, I don't know, some kind of a chamber underneath and run up the pipes. One way or the other, I'm not sure. We'll see what, we'll see what the motor looks like when it comes. So that's good. So we are nearing the completion of this project for this year. Get that moved out and maybe get Stubby in here and get that bad boy running.